Hello everyone, it's Bram Badahem and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition, episode 15. Ooh. In the last episode, we came here to the desert area called the Forbidden Oasis. And I don't know this area yet, it is new for me. Um, but we already got our ass handed to us by a level 12 spider. So I don't know how many enemies there will be that are unappropriate for our level see that's one that's just that that's way too much we shouldn't even attempt that um so i'm finding my way here through the forbidden oasis Jump! I made it! Oh my god. Can I jump on here? You can do it! Maybe. Maybe not. There should be some sort of grab command or something. You would climb, then grab. I mean, you can do all awesome things, but grab onto a ledge, that's too much. Jacket battle axe. Nice. So, where? there's the landmark, I believe, somewhere up there. They don't know how to get there, really. Oh. Let's explore a bit more, then. Spindleweed. Awesome. And Paragon's Luster. Brilliant. Hey. hey. Energize. Get out my way. Look at this. Mages are the best. Plate weave. Ready? Deep mushroom. But how the hell do we get up there? I wonder. Oh. That's a camp. It's a camp. Jump. We are hurt, but that doesn't matter. We got oh. Ah, what the hell? Luckily it's friendly though. But level twelve? Are we even supposed to run around and make camp here? <clears throat> Let's do that. Let's make a camp. Hooray. Nothing to report, sir. Nothing to report. Holding the oasis quest completed. And we have a power. We still do not know how to get up here though. Maybe through here and then get up there? I don't know. Paragon's luster. Oh, that's all we need, I think. Yeah. So now we can finish the requisition mission. And there should be a shard up there. So I've been reading uh, kind of... Ooh. Okay, let's have a look now. Solus, can you place an ice mine right here? And then we will... 
Come on, how do we... I want to have a good position, so... We start attacking him, and Varric does a long shot on him. Actually, Varric moves over there. No, not hold position. Walk over there. And then use a long shot on him. And Cassandra will rush in. Do a war cry to taunt him. Then does a payback strike. And we will have our barrier at the ready. For Cassandra. Where's the ice mine? Why didn't it work? Oh my god. Uh, Varric. Can you use your Keltrops? I guess Cassandra has to take care of that herself then. Sandra's doing good. They can take you. Okay. So I think that was kind of a good summary of my experience with the tactical camera. So, it, who do you think is the toughest, Josephine, Liliana, or Cassandra? I'm right here, you know. <laughs> that doesn't rule you out, Seeker. Cullen's not up for consideration? Curly, they just keep him around to look pretty. <laughs> but yeah, with the tactical camera, I think the, the battle went, went okay. And we had sort of alright tech. The better went alright. We had okay-ish tactics. Look at this. Assassin's Creed style. Let's do it. We had alright tactics. And we... Oh. Oh. What's this? Let's hope that we can just get out of the way. These guys, don't say you're moving over there. Okay, you're right here with me. That's good. But are they coming up here? That is what I'm wondering. Hey, Alfred. The fight was alright. The, the only thing is that the tactical camera was just in the way. Let's see, can we do this? I guess so. Oh, they're running down there. Wait, guys. Barrack, where the hell are you going, man? Let's see. It's an hyena. Barrack is just rocking over there. Oh, 
Außen ist ja nicht. See, this is alright. We didn't even need the tactical camera. And for some reason they are not really kicking our ass, even though they are level 8. That is all fine. But there should be more freedom, I feel, with the tactical camera. That is quite annoying right now. Let's see. Can we get up here? We can. Oh, what's that? More Paragon's Luster. Y you are allowed to pick it up, you know. So, the big question remaining, how to get to that landmark, oh yeah. And since we are back at camp, we might as well just turn in the requisition. Things. The rare alloys. We go. Valuable alloys for the Inquisition. We are almost at influence level 3. And we have another requisition mission. Officer? Word for you. What up? What is it? This may be worthwhile. Okay. So let's see, what do we have? More rare alloys. We need a bit more serpent stone. All right. I find I'll have the fall of the dwarven lands confusing. What's so confusing about endless dark spawn? A great deal. Although that is a different matter. Dwarves control the flow of lyrium. They could tighten their grip on it. It's hard to get the attention of the humans when the dark spawn aren't up here messing with their stuff. You're active in the Carter. You know your people could tug the purse strings. You could claim sovereign land on the surface. Or demand help restoring the Dwarven Kingdom. But you don't. You're not saying anything I haven't said myself, Jackal. Or Samar is what it is. There is a serpent stone we need. Alright. So we can finally climb ladders now in the Inquisition. Or in, in the Dragon Age game in the first place. I don't think that was possible earlier. Haha. <laughs> Here we have the landmark. Worn pillars. The remain structure, second blight, or maybe older. One of the minus things they are of elven origin. Alright. There's a ladder where we climb can climb down and we can find more shards over here. Let's do that, there is one. There's number two. Number three. I already have that one. Number four. Is that, a, is that our own camp over there? That's cool. Now where's number five? Here it is. Right in front of our face. Alrighty. We have five more shards on the map and we can climb down. How do we get up there? Can we jump? Maybe over here. Oh, look at us. We're floating. Can we make the jump? 
I wonder. Let, let's just give it a go. Ugh! Oh no! <laughs> Crap. That was bad. Oh, bait rift. Let's go have a look at the fate rift. Let us see what it is like. Oh, shards. Spawning demons. Can we observe them? No. There's the fate rift. We have all the free space in the world, so this should be good for the tactical camera thing. Okay, let's have a look. So, we hold our position here. The Inquisitor moves here. Varric moves here. Cassandra moves right here. And then Solus will place an ice mine over here. And then Cassandra moves here. Then we start attacking him. No. Varric uses a long shot on him. The Inquisitor attacks him. And Cassandra does a does a war cry. And Solus attacks him. Does that work? Oh crap, oh this again. I forgot about this. Ha! <laughs> Shit. So bad at games. Use your Caltrops. Get out of the way. Do we have our barrier yet? No. Hold us. Let's see, Solus. You attacked a bridge. That's good. We can attack the lesser shade and the Inquisitor can move up there. If we do that, Inquisitor, could you close the Fade Rift? Let's see. Interact. Alright, that is good. They are stunned now, but... Ah, look at this. Like, we can turn the camera like this? I just wanna... I want to hover the camera back, like, or not really back, but sort of up. I don't know why that's so hard to do, but oh well. Let's see, let's continue. We have that wraith. Can we close the eight thing right now? Ah, let's go out of tactical camera. Like, see? This is way better already. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's cast the barrier on us. And let's check this guy. Disrupt the rift again. If we are not knocked down. Go on. Oh 
And we can close it. Yeah. Awesome. Almost leveling up. And we are level 3 influence. Or I guess that's the Inquisitions. We have an extra power. Oh, looking good. And we have an Inquisition perk. Yeah. So let's spend that more thoughtfully this time. Here should be a shard. Awesome. Now let's have a look where we can go. So here's another shard. That's at the point that we don't know how to get there. There's another shard? Yep. Yeah. There is a shard in the party camp. So let's fast travel there. Because that will replenish our health and our potions. Nothing to report, sir. Okay. Nothing to report, but there's a shard like right up there. Let's find a way to get there. Oh. Hyenas. Haha. <laughs> Look at that. Brilliant fighting. We didn't lose any health. Sometimes it's working. Ooh, hyena teeth. Research object. Sometimes it's working, sometimes it's not. Most of the times it's not. Let's have a look here at the oasis. Intrinsic cool. Looking all sweet. Oh, what's that? Blood Lotus, hey. You can use that. Oh, th those are the friendly Tuskets again. Level 12. Oh, and there's another landmark. There we go. We have some spindle wheat. And more Blood Lotus. Oh, yeah. One more. Let's see if there is somewhere around here in the pool then. Is he spindle weed? Oh yeah, now I can see the low textures of the water. Oh well. That is one thing that we'll uh, have to deal with, I guess. That is really killing my FPS if I turn that up. This is all blocked. That's kind of strange. Ooh, and there's a chest up there. Can we jump? Oh, come on. It's one. It's another one. You can do it, Inquisitor. Yeah! Oh my god. Awesome. Such a fancy... Oh, a bladed longbow. A schematic. So that's another thing that I'll have to look into at some point. It's the whole crafting system. I'm not really familiar with that yet. I mean, I did give it a go once or twice now, but... I'm not really having a clue as to what I'm doing. We're done here, right? Ah. Haha, Berg is already up here. Awesome. We can use teleporting mechanics. But I can hear the shard. Where is it? Can I climb any further? I can, maybe? No. 
This is it. Oh well. Let's see. Let's continue here in the pool. I have to say it is sort of a disorienting area. Oh, Blood Lotus, yeah! I forgot what quest it was for, but I believe it was a requisition thing. Or, no, wait, that was a potion upgrade, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, what's in here? Sound effects are so cool. More deep mushroom. Well, actually, guys, I think because there's a fate rift up ahead as well, I'm gonna cut off the video here before we get ourselves into more trouble. Thank you so much for watching this episode where we explored the Forbidden Oasis or a bit more. We tried to get familiar with the tactical camera, which worked out pretty well over here with the fate rift. We set up another party camp, we found some shards, and oh, okay, apparently here's a cave, maybe leading to what it's worth, oh my god, I'm not even sure. Thank you so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next episode to be uploaded soon. Thanks for watching guys.